Michelle. Well, you guys, first off, I can tell you about seven minutes or so ago, it started pouring here in Silverado Canyon. And just a few minutes ago, then we started to see hail. That's the second time we've seen that here today. There is a mandatory evacuation order here in place. The roadblock is right behind me here. The only way to get up into the canyon is to walk. Now, earlier today, there was a big mudslide just about a mile up the canyon. There were about a half dozen cars that were inundated with mud and about uh, nine homes had mud flow through them. When the sky opened up about a quarter of seven this morning in Silverado Canyon, part of the burned hillside came down. This is what it looked like as a small creek on Anderson Way became a raging river. The debris in this video was Rich Pfeiffer's shed. It came down in a wall of water, and my shed went first, and that the shed floated down to here, broke up, and part of it's here, part of it's down on Grundy. Um, and then that pickup truck slid into my car, pushed mine into the creek, and then it followed into the creek, but it pushed my car a little bit up, so the tow truck was able to get it out. Not far up the canyon, a mudslide covered the main road, making it impassable. Several feet of sludge piled up on driveways, overrunning sandbags and storm barriers. Two Teslas and a high-performance Mercedes were stuck in the middle of it all. Living out here in the canyon, it's kind of a hazard that we accept, um, but having to go through the rigmarole of, of digging out your home is, is never something that one wants to do or dreams of doing, but here we are. Orange County Public Works crews spent the day clearing mud and debris. Residents, meantime, with heavy equipment, helped each other out in between rain showers. Two to three feet of mud was measured around this canyon house. It buried a backyard jacuzzi. The first mudslide came up to my house, we dug out. The next two mudslides we diverted. And this mudslide was too big and powerful that it knocked the hay bales and sandbags out again, it's back against the house, but not too bad. When the mud comes down, um, it's no joke, all right? And, and you know, some, some of these flows can be severe enough where it can just take out a house, and we just don't want to see anybody trapped in like that. And back here live in Silverado Canyon, luckily there were no injuries today, but of course the officials are worried about the continued storms throughout the night. We have seen deputies knocking on doors here in the area, trying to get a head count as to who has not evacuated. In addition to Silverado Canyon, two nearby canyons, that being Williams and Majeska Canyons, have mandatory evacuation orders as well. That's the latest life here in Orange County. I'm Michelle Geely, back to you. Michelle, thank you. Well, this is a cold storm, and that means.